three days after the Amstel Gold Race kicked off our Dens Week, the UCI Women's World Tour returned to action for the second instalment in the series, La Flèche Will On. At 118.5 kilometres, the short but punchy course featured seven climbs in total, with two ascents of the infamous Mer de Huy to tackle. As in previous years, the day's winner would more than likely be decided on its savagely steep slopes up to the finish. You know, it's the climb where you are thinking, oh my goodness, I'm like in so much pain, I can't stand that, but the crowd and the, the thing that you are climbing up this iconic climb makes you feel like, okay, I just want to go through it, push the pain and think about the moment where you are on the top and when finally you can stop pedaling and it's all done. And if you are satisfied with your own uh, performance, then it's just even more great. Yeah, I'm feeling great. Uh, the last week it's, it's growing and uh, I'm also yeah, really focused on these races, especially yeah, Amsterdam Gold Race and today and uh, Leech. Let's see, we'll see, but my, my form is good. I don't need to wait to, until the last uh, climb the, the Muven Hui. I uh, attack uh, before. This year it's a little bit different, the circuit. I think it's a little bit harder, the, the final uh, two, two small laps, and because it's got the the climb in just before the, the Murdui, it's got its, I think it's like only four or five K to go after you finish that one. And then you've got the finish line up the famous, fam famous Murdui. So it's, it's a really special race with amazing uh, ambience on the, the climb and the people and so many camping cars. And yeah, I, I love this race. Go! After setting off from the top of Murder Hui, several early attempts were made to form the day's first break, but Wilonia's rolling terrain ensured that none lasted much longer than a few kilometres. 43 kilometres in, a crash in the peloton briefly caused panic as the bunch split, but things were soon back together again as all of the main favourites came through unscathed. In the meantime, Virtue Cycling's Dorish Schweitzer had managed to escape off the front and was later joined by a group of four, including Anison Esteban. The Ali Cipollini rider led the race over the first classified climb, the Cote de Ref, but their advantage only lasted another seven kilometres before they too were brought back. A strong group of 14 soon formed before Canyon Sram's Pauline Ferrand Perot decided it was time to test her legs bringing with her Yannicka Ensing, Amanda Spratt and Megan Guarnier. The quartet quickly managed to build up a lead of 45 seconds as the race ascended the Murder Hui for the first time. And with just 29 kilometres left at that point, it looked like this could be potentially the race-winning break. However, with the peloton behind now back up to around 40 riders, their advantage in numbers soon began to tell. And by the penultimate climb of the day, the Côte de Chirave, the front group's lead was down to only 15 seconds. The four were working well together into the last 5k though, and as the race hit the flat final run-in into the Mer du Oui, it looked as if they were going to stay away. No sooner had they hit the climb's punishing slopes, however, that they began to pay for their breakaway efforts, as the peloton closed in, quickly eating up the gap. From there, it was left to Anna van der Breggen to do what she's already done in the past three years, powering ahead in the final few hundred metres to take her fourth consecutive flesh victory. Behind her, Cervelo Bigler's Ashley Mormon Passio produced a strong ride to take second, while Megan Guarnier made it two Bowles Dolman's riders on the podium. Yeah, it's four in a row. <laughs> um, but today was a different race, I think, than the, the three we did before. The lap was a bit different and the final was harder this time. We came all together at the bottom of the moor. So that's uh, exciting also. Um, and it's really something that you can test your legs and see how it goes. Uh, I tried to pace a bit also um, to keep an eye on Megan and in the end Ashley was quite strong and she did good and yeah in the end the sprint was fine. I'm really really happy to be on the World Tour podium you know it's uh, been a while you know last year I never managed to get onto a World Tour podium and it's something that I really wanted this year and um, this is my favorite race week of the spring and 
Amstel Gold was quite an interesting race, um, a little bit frustrating for riders like myself. But um, So coming here today, um, it's a beautiful day, the sun is shining and my legs felt really good from the beginning and um, there was a moment where I was panicking a little bit because we didn't have a rider on the group. Um, but Sile, my teammate, did an amazing job to chase and I tried my best to stay calm and coming up the meet, I really felt good and yeah, so close to the win, but I'm happy with second. I mean, I, I knew that it would come down to the Mir de Hui. I actually didn't think we would get caught, but that's how it ended up. Um, so I, I fought as hard as I could. I mean, Anna, I don't know, what is this, her third, fourth World Tour win? So she's on fire, and uh, it's nice to see Bowles Dolmans keep, keep getting on that top step. After Amy Peters and Chantelle Black, Van der Breggen becomes the third Bowles rider to earn the World Tour leader's jersey in the past three races. The, mo the most beautiful thing is if you look to the team this year, then, then we have so many victories already. That's, that's incredible and something we only can dream of. Um, yeah. While Astana's Sofia Bertizzolo remains the best young rider. Outside of the podium places, Annemiek van Vleuten came in fourth ahead of Mitchelton Scott teammate Spratt while FDJ's Sara Gillow made the top 10 for the second straight year. In the World Tour rankings, Bowles still fill the top three places after their fifth victory of the season, with three of those wins down to dominant van der Breggen. And in the youth standings, Bertozzolo's impressive eighth place finish gives her a 12-point advantage.